Stationary journeys in Aunt Wynne's stuffy parlour, the pianola unfurls its pattern, punching airy absences into the middle class gloom. The invisible other's papery digits are miraculously exhumed, and the keys move mindlessly to mark the time. The touch, fingers down. Fleshy pads leech secret heat from darkened ebony, and ridged whorls rub on slivered ivory tusk. A tactile dissonance beneath this black and white hints at a sprawling history of lust, of animal desire, concealed in those chaste meetings. And yet they felt so good. But that rough purchase has long since been usurped. Now there's the syrupy clasp of skin on plastic. Now there's a new glossary, a different trade. The moral slip and slide of polyurethane. Keep it legato, if you can. An interlude. Miss Norman will play some skipping music and 15 infant ballerinas in pink attire will hop, left leg, then right, across a cold church hall. They jolt discreetly, too graceless yet to fake that blended join from leap to leap. It comes with practice. The piano is the same. The phrases that we long to get just right. The limpid, liquid, pearly grains that run and trill and peel and flow and try to skip along. One sound follows another. The action rises, 
then it falls, no true glissando here. Think ahead and grasp towards the next moment. We dance freely without limits, only in our minds. Reach inside, be brave. This overstrung contraption, with its lid skin lifted to expose the innards, tendons, hammers, metal frame and folded felt. The instrument laid bare for examination. A candle-lit cadaver in a sitting room, dragged home by night from some disgusting charnel house. The lights go down. The audience waits to be amazed at revelations from a bloodless corpse. A hand plucks life from swaddled strings, a movement etched in clouds of resonating wire. The internal is entirely different. Suddenly, here is a new translation. Don't forget to get the piano tuned. The process is quite arbitrary. We make assumptions. Check the fourths and fifths and choose a scale. Doubling the frequency from F to F, from C to shining C. But there's no real independence here just a wobbling indecision as to possible divisions that have changed from year to year. At last, the piano tuner starts to play, smiles, picks up a snatch of melody and plays again. Gleefully, we sit back